my birthday. Now it's time for me to light my candles. It's my birthday. Now it's time for me to light my candles. Dude, we gotta talk about this! Hey yo guys, what's up? It is finally time for fight day. We are going to see a whole ton of characters, not just from the same universe, but from a ton of different universes fighting each other and speculation on who would win the fight. But just first, very quickly, I would like to address Papa's got some brand new merch. Papa's got a brand new stash. So anyway, getting right into the video, let's start off with what I teased yesterday, Venom. Versus. Hulk. And thank you, no logo clips and more for these video clips and these images. Now, Hulk and Venom have actually been some of my favorite characters for a very long time now. Ever since I saw the Hulk and the Agents of Smash series, and the Venom film that came out in 2018. Now, when it comes to who exactly would win the fight, it is all about, definitely, strengths and weaknesses. And as we all know, Hulk is basically one of the strongest Avengers there is. It is basically impossible to kill him, because people have tried bullets, People have tried stabbing him, and they are unsuccessful. So, it definitely comes down to also endurance when it comes to winning the fight, because now we're going to take a look at Venom. Because if you guys have seen the Venom film, or have even just read Venom comics, or know anything about Venom or symbiotes, you know that the two weaknesses that symbiotes have are fire and sound. And... That right there is why I would side with Hulk to win the fight against Venom. Because all the dude has to do is thunderclap him, and I bet you the sound and breeze waves from that thunderclap would blow Venom right off of Eddie Brock. So yeah, Venom's toasted when it comes to the Hulk. Next. It's time to let old things die. Kylo Ren versus Darth Vader. There have been so many speculations and YouTube videos on this fight, and I do agree, seeing Kylo Ren versus what he was always trying to be throughout the sequel trilogy, Darth Vader, I would love to see that. And it is absolutely, without a doubt, I mean, yes, Power and the Force comes in handy with both of these qualities. But in my knowledge, the key factor of winning this fight would be experience and strength. Because Kylo Ren is unstable. He's mentally questioned, and he's always questioning himself whether or not he's worthy to be the new Darth Vader. But Darth Vader here is a steel, laser-eyed focused killing machine. And he is definitely the strongest Sith Lord that we have ever seen, aside from Emperor Palpatine. And I have to give it to Darth Vader when it comes to who would win this fight. Definitely, he has the most experience, other than Kylo Ren. He's more self-confident, and he is extraordinarily focused. And that's why I think Darth Vader would win against Kylo Ren. Now let's head on to something a little more interesting, a little cross-dimensional. Two characters meet from alternate universes, and that is... Bumblebee versus Miles Korch. Nothing's over while I'm breathing. Specifically in the amp suit. And I just really wanted Bumblebee in this video. So, I mean, I gotta admit, I just... <laughs> I had to do this, and it's absolutely... No question at all, the main factor of this fight is integrity and endurance. Because, absolutely, without a doubt, we all know that Transformers have been stabbed repeated times and survived. So, yeah, I mean, dude, one blast from Bumblebee's blaster and Miles is done. Last night, Mohawk style. <laughs> 
Natiri versus Sabretooth. How else am I supposed to get your attention? Sabretooth is more of the flexible characters like Black Panther. Or at least, you know, like he has powers similar to Black Panther with the claws. He's more like a, a heavy runner charging at his prey. But, I mean, I just had to do this one because of my brother's recommendation. So, a huge shout out to you, Joshua. Here's your fight that you wanted to see. Now, like I said, Sabretooth is all about charging at his prey. And he'll put it all into full steam and just rhino it and charge. While Natiri just has to, like, flip over him and get him with an arrow in the back. So... Yeah, hands down, especially when it comes to size, because the Na'vi are about 9, 10 feet tall, 9 feet tall probably in Natiri's case, and Sabretooth is an average human, therefore he's probably only like 6 foot, 6, I don't know, maybe given his size, but anyway, I definitely think Natiri would win this fight because of agility, and that's something in which Sabretooth clearly lacks Mario. <laughs> versus Sonic. You're gonna have to go through me. This has been something that I've wanted to see for a severely long time, ever since I first got into both Sonic and Mario. So, this, oh my gosh, if they actually do this, if they actually do team up, please, Universal, Paramount, please do it. Do a Mario and Sonic crossover film. I would love to see a kind of Toy Story vibe with Sonic and Mario starting off as enemies, but then becoming friends throughout the movie. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, who exactly would win the fight? Well, both of these characters are eh, relatively new to fighting, but Sonic seems to take it easily. He has incredible speed, lightning abilities, while Mario has... I don't know, maybe the star? So, anyway, uh, let's just take it like that. Let's just take it like Mario has the star, and in that case, he is super powerful. Basically, impenetrable. So, when it comes to speed versus strength, I mean, this one's one of the more harder ones. For me, I'm guessing just, like, it could go either way. Or maybe it would just be, like, one of those infinite fights like Thor versus Iron Man. I mean, I have absolutely no idea, but because he's higher on the list for me, I would definitely vote for Sonic to win. I don't know whether he actually would or not, but hey, but if Mario did not have the star, Sonic would absolutely own this guy. And finally, Spider-Man versus Venom. Eyes, lungs, pancreas. Everyone wants to see Spider-Man versus Venom. And it has all but been confirmed that we are going to get Venom versus Spider-Man. Because if you guys have seen my previous videos, it has been confirmed that in The Secret Wars, Tom Holland will be bonded with the Venom symbiote in The Secret Wars. So, yes, yes. That's about three to four years away, but, I mean, hey, it could be possible that maybe even sooner than that, maybe Spider-Man 5 or even Spider-Man 4, that Venom will fight Spider-Man. Now, on to who would win the fight. I mean, we've gotten it so many times in so many different movies. I vote Spider-Man because... A, he's a genius, so he can figure out a way to beat this guy through science or something. And B, mainly because he'll most likely have the plot armor in this story. So, yeah. Uh, that was basically my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So there you go. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the Dragon Clan family if you want to not miss out on my future videos and giveaways. Like this video if you are a fan of all of these movies that I cover from my channel and are psyched to see a whole lot more of this. And hopefully, 
I will do a part two to this video next year. And that's... And if you want to, share with your friends. I mean, heck, I don't... Hey, share with as many people as you like. I mean, if you agree with any of the rulings that I have for these fights, make sure to comment them down below. And if there are any other fights you want to see in a hopefully part two, make sure to comment them down below as well. And I'll see you guys next week. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but it will definitely be something. So respect for all you guys out there. And I love you guys. You guys all rock. I just seriously thank you for watching these videos. And it really brings hope to me that, hey, maybe, maybe I'll like reach, I don't know, maybe 10 million subscribers like other YouTubers or something. But I just, I thank you guys so much because it's not me that makes these videos great. It's you guys. Because like I've said previously, only a great video comes from a great audience. So see you guys next time. Love y'all.